हेलो फ्रेंड्स द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज इनपुट बफरिंग इन द लेक्सिकल एनालाइजर ओके एज वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर दैट लेक्सिकल एनालाइजर रीड्स अ सोर्स कोड लाइन बाय लाइन और करेक्टर बाय करेक्टर फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट सो वी प्लेस द दैट सोर्स ऑफ कोड इन टू एन इन टू अ बफर सो हाउ अ इनपुट बफर इज यूज और हाउ अ इनपुट बफर इज वर्क वर्क हियर or how the lexical analyzer reads a character from the input buffer so the lexical analyzer scans the input from left to right okay so one character at a time here here we use two pointers in the input buffer we use two pointer one is uh, begin pointer we represented as bp and the second pointer is forward pointer and we represented by fp okay so it used two pointer begin and forward pointer to keep the track of the portion of the input scanned okay for example if this is a input buffer and we have a source code here like this int i is uh, i sorry comma j semicolon i equals i plus 1 semicolon j equals j plus 1 semicolon so this is uh, for example we have a code like this int i comma j i equals to i plus 1 and j equal to j plus 1 so we place this source code in the input buffer so initially both the pointer whether it is a begin or a forward pointer point to the first character of the input string like this initially bp is also here point towards the first character and fp also point out to the first character okay now the next step is that the forward pointers move ahead to search for the end of lexeme and why uh, how we can define or how we can differentiate that is the ends of lexeme for example if i read character like this i n t and we have next is white space so before this white space this is the end of lexeme or we can say that it is a whole one lexeme okay so in the next step if i um, i n or i comma j semicolon i is equal i plus 1 semicolon j equals j plus 1 semicolon so in the initially both the pointer point out to the first very first character that is i then the bp remains the same and the forward pointer moves ahead to search for the end of lexeme as soon as the forward pointer encounter as a blank space like this after int it encounters a blank space so this shows that this int is identified as or encountered as one lexeme which is as a identifier okay so this is a end of lexeme or we can say this is a one token after this after first token is encountered the forward pointer and the backward pointer again both the position of the forward pointer and the backward pointers will remain same means initially the both the for backward and forward pointer begin oh sorry begin pointer and forward pointer initially at the point out to the first character when the forward pointer move ahead and it encounters as a white space it means that it encounter a one token here and then this begin pointer it moves to the forward pointer with their forward pointers point out like i here so this is how the input buffer or this is how the lexical analyzer reads a character from left to right okay uh, there is one more concept in the input buffering is that this method or there are two method used in this context okay one is 
टू मेथड्स आर टू मेथड्स आर वन इज वन बफर स्कीम ओके एंड द एन अदर वन इज टू बफर स्कीम विच मीन्स दैट इन वन बफर स्कीम only one buffer is used to store the input stream but the problem with this scheme is that if the lexeme is very long and it then it cross the buffer boundary then to scan the rest of the lexeme the buffer has to be refilled that makes an overlapping or overwriting to the first part of the lexeme for example in we if we have a uh, one buffer like this i n t i is equal to i plus 1 okay like this begin pointer and forward forward pointer point out to the very first character now if our uh, source code is the length of the lexeme is very long then it cross the boundary of this buffer so it's after crossing the boundary to scan the rest of the lexeme the buffer has to be refilled from the initial this buffer itself which makes overlapping to the first part of the lexeme so to overcome this problem we use two buffer scheme what what the, uh, what two buffer scheme does that two buffer scheme are used to store the input stream and there are two buffer here we use two buffer the first and the second buffer are scanned alternatively okay when end of the current buffer is reached the other buffer is filled automatically okay so to identify the boundary of the first buffer we use one string which is known as a eof end of buffer with this string is also known as sentinels it's a most important term sentinels sentinels are nothing it's a string or a character which indicates the end of buffer which we represented by eof and it is used in the two buffer scheme how like this for example we have a two buffer uh suppose we have a one buffer like this and the second buffer says like this inverted comma uh, semicolon j j plus 1 semicolon and the end of the boundary of the buffer is uh is encountered with a eof means if the compiler is encountered with this buffer with this eof with this with this sentinels it automatically uh identify that this buffer is uh, complete and we have to scan alternatively the next buffer means uh, to identify the uh, boundary of the first buffer okay so end of uh, buffer eof character should be placed at the end of the first buffer similarly end of the second buffer is also assigned is also recognized with by this sentinels okay at, which is present at the end of the second buffer so when the first uh, forward pointer encounter first eof then one can recognize that it is the end of first buffer and hence filling of second buffer is uh, started automatically in the same way when the second buffer eof is obtained then it indicates it is the end of the second buffer and alternatively both are both the buffers can be filled up until end of the pro input program and stream of the to tokens is identified so this is how we use the two schemes one buffer and two buffer and uh, Uh, what are sentinel sentinels are input string or or a uh, sequence of character which we represented eof which is identified as a end of buffer which we place at the boundary of the buffer value okay so if you uh, like our video then please subscribe our channel and if you have any problem have any doubt then you can ask our uh, ask your doubts in our comment section thanks for watching